Hi, this is New England 72, and I welcome you to What the Hell is This edition of Homebrew Wednesday. So you can see I've got here, I've got some uh, Saison IPA, maybe some double IPA back there, maybe some Where's Just Wheat. And over here I've got the, the Dunbar, uh, second round of Dunbar IPA in here. Finally decided to get somewhere to put all the malt. So I don't have to go to the score store every stupid day I want some malt. Uh, up here is just some old stuff. A couple of uh, original Hefeweizens, like a year old from the guy I bought my brewery from. My first beer, that's my last one. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. These two stupid Irish Reds that are really Belgian Ambers. Then an assorted array of... Other brews, everything from Shock Top to uh, Twappe Dolais, uh, West Mile Triple, or Double, excuse me, uh, Boulevards, uh, Six Glass, it's a good quad, UFO, some stouts here, Vanilla Porter, that's nice and sweet, 2X Stout, that's alright, another Six Glass, put that back there couple of nitros and of course uh saison du buff that's the victory version versus the uh dogfish version everyone's got and the uh quit beer whirlwind with beer we'll see how that is but back to the problem at hand this is a problem if you notice there is no head space, no head space at all. I'm supposed to dry up the stupid thing, plus add two gallons because I friggin' slimmerammed the uh, original gravity. This thing is super high. This is also no bueno. Probably won't focus in, but the point is that that's hitting about 67, 68. That is freaking high. All my brews are like this. I don't like it. It's much too high, but this is a serious problem. Honestly, the beer is up to the limit, including some of this. In fact, you know what? Just for y'all, I'll uh, pop open a little treat. I use whatever I have on hand today. We'll just keep with what was in there. I'm sure, if you guys know any decent tequila, you'll know that one. It's cheap, it's good. Pour it in there. Oh, here we go. Alright. And it's quite good. There we go. That's good. Top on there. But seriously, what the heck do you do when you have a yield and you put it in the stupid five gallon secondary? And it laughs in your face and tells you, hey, I have way too much beer and I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, so let's be reasonable. Do I just pour it off? Is that okay to do? Is it not okay? Uh, do I pour it off a little bit here? Or do I pour it off a lot of it here? It's already getting two gallons of boiled, wor uh, boiled water, really, uh, when I boil it. Because the gravity is so high, so much higher than it needed to be, which is cool. Because it means I get a hugely uh, a beer that I make like the the yield is huge on. Um, but yeah, I, I still need to dry hop it with like an ounce and a half because that's how I do business, really. Um, but still doesn't explain what the hell I'm gonna do with so much beer. Anyway, uh, I'll really appreciate your comments, guys. If you guys know um, how to fix this and you would like some beers as a reward, I do have, uh, let's see, a couple of six-point resin, Trogues, Nugget, Nugget Nectar, one of those, a Hoptimum, uh, Full Throttle Double IPA from Sebago. Trust me, that's great stuff. City Steam, if you like red beers without a lot of hops, that's a great beer. If you like pale ales with lots of hops, that's a blonde on blonde, not lots of bitterness. 
Uh, this is a Deviant Dales. It's an Alchemist. If you really have great advice to me, I'll send you this Alchemist Cecilia. A um, couple of extra pale ales from Baxter. What is this? What is this here? This is a Stowaway IPA, also from Baxter. And a, the People's Pint Oatmeal Stout. Anyway, that's all my stuff. If you got some good advice, you could earn yourself some beers. I would say that's a great deal. If you don't think it's a great deal, then don't give me any advice. If you do, I'll send you some beer. Sounds good. Thank you. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. New England 72 out.